Hello again, everyone. Welcome to another Around the Town of Brantford with Henry and Frank. I'm Frank Tuhill. We're here at the St. Agnes Cemetery in Brantford on East Main Street. It's December 17th, 2022, and it's an important day. Reese Across America Day. All across this country, a big effort is underway to place wreaths on all the veterans' graves. And in Brantford, the coordinator again this year, after receiving his Eagle Scout earlier this year, Mark Halley, is still involved and still doing this great work. Great to see you today, Mark. Nice to see you too, Frank. So would you please explain to us as to what we're just about to see here today at St. Agnes? So we're going to have today a small ceremony of a few people. We're going to have a few different speakers, and it's just explaining about the process and why we do this in Brantford. And after that, we're going to have um, everyone dismissed, and you see all the boxes around the cemetery. They're going to be put out. Those are all wreaths, and we have 1,600 wreaths for the town of Brantford, um, and they're going to be put out throughout the town. We have seven cemeteries we do this, and in this cemetery we have about a thousand wreaths that we put, we're we going to put down today. And after, after, the seven, after the ceremony is happening, we're going to have all these people spread out around the cemetery, and they're going to go, and they're going to put the wreaths on the veterans' gravestones and honor the veterans that served for us. That's really a great uh, feat, you know, a great thing that you're doing here in Brantford again this year. Now, you've been involved with wreaths across America in Brantford for a long time. Yeah, this is our fourth year doing it. Oh, so that's terrific. Now, also, I understand that what I understand that what you've tried to do is to get uh, people in Branford to um, subscribe, you know, to each wreath, right? Mm -hmm. Which costs fifteen dollars. But you're oversubscribed now, right? Yep. So we we still have people that we want to get people involved and support the wreaths. But we're lucky that Lockheed Martin. They just bought out Sikorsky uh, Aircraft in uh, Stratford, and they, they spent $10,000 supporting Wreaths Across America for Brantford. So they wow. helped get most of the wreaths that we have. So they helped a lot. That's a great corporate sponsor. Yes, it is. Now, the other thing, too, which is very interesting, is that, right, this whole program, Wreaths Across America, it's, it's the longest parade, right, in American history. Where does it start? So it starts up in uh, Columbia Falls, Maine, and it goes all the way down to Arlington National Cemetery. They bring all the tractor trailers with all the wreaths, and they have veterans that they honor all the way down, and they stop in each state and uh, a few different towns in each state all the way down. And now um, I believe that they have stopped here in Brantford in the past, right? Yes, they stopped here about six years ago, and that's yeah. where I learned about it and found out, and I said, I want to do this for my Eagle Scout project and continue it ever since. So, No, you've done a wonderful job. So the... The goal of Wreaths Across America is to have wreaths placed on all the veterans' graves today, right? Yes, it is. We're a little short because there's about 3,000 in town, but we keep growing it every year in order to hopefully honor every veteran in Brantford. Now, if anybody wants to get involved in this great effort each year, I, I, I mean, how can they get involved? What do, what do they contact, Mark? So we're on Facebook, and then you also could look up Wreaths Across America, Brantford Cemeteries, and we have a website, and we're on Facebook, and we post everything on there. Okay, that's great. Now, so there's going to be some um, speakers today here? Yep, we have a Vietnam speaker, Brian Miniter. He's going to be speaking, and we also have, um, I'm going to say a few words, but he's going to be there, and we're going to have a gun salute, taps, and Stony Creek Fife and Drum Corps is going to play a selection or two. It's going to be a great program, and I'll be here covering it, along with Henry and also with our sponsor here, Mark Halley. Yes. So it's great to see you again, and great to talk to you today. Thank you very much, Frank. Keep up your good work. Thank you. All right. Okay, stay with us. Our coverage continues. Wreaths Across America Day in Brantford. Stay with us. Okay, uh, we're here again at St. Agnes Cemetery. It's December 17th, 2022. This is, this is the National Wreaths Across America Day, and it's being celebrated in Brantford by uh, Mark Halley and some volunteers, and we're just about to see a great presentation with speeches, Stony Creek Drum Corps, it's going to be great. Just a little bit about wreaths in general. You know, placing wreaths on graves is it's nothing new. It goes back to the days of the ancient Greeks, and they started doing it. It's to represent a circle of eternal life. And they used evergreen wreaths, and they were laid at burial places to represent victory of the eternal spirit over death death. So that's that's why we still are using wreaths thousands of years later. And uh, anyway, 
as you know, we spoke earlier with Mark Halley. He's an incredible individual. He's, a, he's in college right now. He has been working on this every year in Brantford for four years, and uh, it was this Eagle Scout project. And he received his Eagle Scout uh, earlier this year. And uh, I believe only about 8% of all in Boy Scouts ever attained the rank of Eagle Scout. It's, it's the highest award. And believe me, it really is important, and it's, you know, it really means something big to, you know, to achieve an Eagle Scout. It's not easy to get it. And uh, going back on him, this is, this is what he did. He's always wanted all the veterans in Brantford to have a wreath on their grave, just like in Arlington. And um, as we're standing here, we can see behind us, right, some of our brave Brantford first responders and the trucks are coming in. You know, there's an ambulance on the way, uh, the hook and ladder. So anyway, going back to Mark, in past years, um, in past years, this has been a travel stop for the the actual parade wreaths across America. As we said earlier, that parade is the longest parade in the history of our country. It starts way up in, uh, up by the Canadian border in Maine and travels for a whole week down through the northeastern states, to, over through the Atlantic seaboard states, and then it stops at Arlington, Virginia. And right as we speak today, December 17th, they're putting uh, wreaths on all the graves in Arlington Cemetery. So it, it's, it's going to be great. Also, you, also, you're going to be hearing from Sergeant Major Brian Miniter, a Brantford resident uh, that's of extremely high rank that he achieved. And um, uh, so, you know, so we'll be hearing from him. So anyway, here come our trucks now from the Brantford Fire Department, and uh, they're going to come by us right here and uh, stay with us. We're going to show you the speeches today here, Reese Across America Day in Brantford. Okay, we're just about to get started uh, right here at the uh, the National Reese Across America Day. This is who you're going to be hearing from in the next few minutes right here on our program. The Master of Ceremonies is Vin Giordano. Then we're going to be hearing from um, Mark Halley, right? He's the coordinator of Wreaths Across America in Brantford. Then we're going to be hearing from um, um, Sergeant Major Brian Miniter, Brantford resident. He served in both Iraq and Vietnam. Very distinguished individual for, for his military service. And then we're going to be also hearing the national anthem from Ava Cosgrove. That's our first selectman's daughter, Jamie Cosgrove. Ava Cosgrove is presently going to Boston University. She's going to be singing for us the national anthem. So uh, lots of great program coming up and uh, also uh, Stony Creek Fife and Drum Corps. So that's what's on tap. Stay with us. Our coverage continues. Branford's Wreaths Across America Day. Okay, we're just about to show you the great ceremony that's about to take place. You're going to be hearing from the Stony Creek Fife and Drum Corps speakers, and there will also will be a uh, gun salute. Just before it starts here, this um, is really a massive undertaking today. It's uh, starting in 2014, okay, this program, Wreaths Across America, has laid in Arlington National Cemetery 226,000 wreaths. They've also laid over 700,000 wreaths at 1,000 locations throughout the United States. The purpose of the wreath laying, as we all know, it's to remember and honor our veterans by laying remembrance wreaths on the graves of our country's fallen heroes. And um, as I said before, uh, it's gonna be a great program it's going to be starting uh, just a moment. It's it's not that cold today. It's it's in the uh, upper 30s, but um, you know it it really feels cold because of the the wind chill factor. So anyway, this is a great little uh, impromptu stage that's been uh, 
set up here, you can see the uh, there's the um, uh, the Reese Across America flag up there, along with the podium. There's our uh, truck number one, uh, the hook and ladder from the uh, um, fire headquarters on North Main Street. They have some wreaths there, and they've also put up a huge American flag up there as well. So um, it's just a great stage. And there's actually quite a few people here today. Uh, I'm really surprised that there's so many people here. But uh, it's become an annual program here in the town of Brantford. <laughs> and um, I, just, I just want to speak to our first selectman for a moment. How are you, sir? How are you? How are you doing, Frank? Good, good, good. It's kind of cold today. Uh, yeah, at least the sun's, sun's uh, that's shining, true. so that's a good thing. That's right? true, yeah. that's true. Yeah. So, so anyway, um, I, uh, uh, so from what I understand, right, I mean, the great thing today, of course, there's a lot of great things going on, but like one of the great things is to hear from your daughter, Ava, right? Oh, yeah, she'll be singing the national anthem. Yeah, yeah, proud of her part in participating in this great ceremony yeah that's true yeah yeah that's, that's great so it's uh uh mark in, in, reached out to her a couple weeks ago she, she came home from school this this past week so she was able to do it and you know it's really great to see the younger generation kind of participating and carrying on i mean the whole mission of East across across America, America, as you know, so is to honor, to remember, and teach, and to have the younger generation, Mark Halley, certainly. So my name is Vincent Giordano, I'll be your master of years. ceremonies um, today. And it's so great to say. On behalf of yes, the it is, it is Reach Across yeah. America right, the, Committee, the, the, thank you so much, sir. Mark Halley, its chairman, I would like to welcome you all. We would begin our ceremonies this morning with the national anthem, sung a cappella, a cappella, by Ava Cosgrove. Ava? Units, attention. Present home. Oh, say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight all the ramparts we watched were so And now a selection from the Stony Creek Fife and Drum Corps.
Thank you, Stony Creek. Thank you. Now we'll, we'll hear a few words from our from the chairman and organizer of today's event, uh, Mark Halley. Mark. Good afternoon. I want to thank everyone for coming out today and volunteering their time. I first became aware of Wreaths Across America on their convoy stop in Brantford about six years ago. And as I learned more about the pro program, I decided I wanted to make this my Eagle Scout project. I wanted to have every Brantford veteran in the town to have a wreath on their headstone, just like they do in Arlington. Our first ceremony took place on December 14th, 2019. That was my Eagle Scout project. This is the fourth year and through the generosity of so many people, the program has grown into what it is now. I want to thank everyone for all of their continued support, and especially Lockheed Martin, who donated just over $10,000 for Wreaths Across Brantford. We would not be able to acknowledge as many veterans as they did if without those donations. So can we please get a round of applause for them? Today we'll be laying just over 1,600 wreaths honoring our Brantford veterans. I would like to thank everyone who came out today. It really means a lot to see everyone and it keep growing every year. Thank you especially to Chief Mahoney and the Brantford Fire Department for their continued support of this event every year. I would just like to give a few instructions when you lay the wreaths. Please, when you lay the wreath, Go to the gravestone and say the veteran's name, say thank you for your service, take a moment to um, reflect, and then please lay the wreath on their headstone. And if they have a footstone, just lay it on top of there and please put the bow facing upwards. And after this, after the ceremony and after the playing of taps, I'd like all the volunteers to just grab a few wreaths from the box and we're all gonna line up right in front of the uh, flag and we're gonna have a group photo of everyone here. So if we could do that, um, I would appreciate it. And thank you everyone and hope, hopefully see you next year. Thank you, Mark. Now Sergeant Major Brian Minotaur. Uh, Sergeant Major is a Vietnam, as am I, and an Iraq veteran. And so it gives me great pleasure to bring up Sergeant Major to talk a little bit about Reese Across America. Sergeant Major. Again, I want to thank everyone for coming out today. Reese Across America, especially with Mark, has brought the Reese Across America to the town of Bradford. Hells annually on the third Saturday in December, Reese Across America was started in 1992 with Karen and Morrell Worcester when they had Reese left over from the business. He remembered from childhood visiting Arlington Cemetery. He called Arlington Cemetery and asked if they could lay some Reese there. We now have Reese laid all over the world, even in Normandy. We are not here to decorate the cemetery, but to honor the fallen. These people made the ultimate sacrifice for the country. Now there is an empty place in the loved ones' hearts and gathering. Reese Across America reminds us to remember, honor, and teach. As President Ronald Reagan once said, freedom is never more than one generation away from extinction. When you place the wreath, like Mark says, and you go to the grave, please have the ribbon on, on top at a 45 degree angle. Then please step back and say the soldier's name. If you are a military, please give a slow hand salute. And even if they're Jewish markers, please, if you don't put a wreath there, at least put their name as people die well, twice, like I said, once when they die and the second time when a person says their names. I would like to thank everyone for coming here today. Also, I, I would like to thank the people that come out here and put out the flags and uh, remove them. When COVID first hit, well, there was only a few of us that did it. And now it puts a smile on my face to see all the people from Brantford and around towns coming here to help us put out the flags and take them back. 
All right. Thank you once again for all of you people remembering the, the people that have passed for, for us. Thank you very much. Thank you, Sergeant Major. Now, the Stony Creek Fife and Drum Corps will, will play the United States Military Medley. And as the um, individual branches of the service are recognized, uh, we ask those who represent them to come forward with a wreath. So please begin. The U.S. Military Medley.
extraordinary. Thank you. And also thank you all for rec recognizing uh, your, your different branches of military with the wreaths. Thank you. <clears throat> so we're about ready to have our closing um, rifle salute and taps. Uh, I just want to mention that right after that, um, those, and you're all invited, those who want to be part of a photograph today, taken by Rebecca Butler, uh, please form in front of the um, fire engine he'll, the, with the hoisted American flag. So that'll be right after, um, right after the rifle salute. <clears throat> so units, attention, present homes. Thank you, Sergeant Major Minotaur. What a homes. Parade rest. Ceremonies are now concluded. Please form for the photograph in front of the ladder truck, please. Okay, that was a great presentation today, a great ceremony. Reese across America in Brantford and um, now they're starting the music up in the background. Uh, by the way, all those wreaths, they were all made by the uh, Worcester Wreath Company of Harrington, Maine. That's where all the wreaths come from. And uh, anyway, uh, everybody's moving over underneath the American flag there to uh, be in the uh, group photo. And... Uh, as you can see, there's a lot of people that came out today. You know, there uh, there's a lot of people behind the camera too that you, you can't see yet. But probably at least at least 150 people are here. It's, it's a great patriotic event, and it was all coordinated by Mark Halley, part of his Eagle Scout project, which he finally attained earlier this year. As I said before, only 9% of those in scouting ever attain the rank of Eagle Scout. It's really quite, a, it's quite an honor uh, to attain that. Let me, try to speak, let me try to speak to Mark again before we sign off. That was great, Mark. Thank you, you. You did such a wonderful job. What Thank a great, you. What a great presentation today. Thank you. I appreciate it. We're going to get a group photo here in a second, and uh, everything should be looking good. Yeah, that's Let me true. organize this. Thank that's you. Right. Mark Halley, Eagle Scout, Brantford resident, in college now, and uh, just doing great. He's going to coordinate it again in uh, 2023, he said. So you see the... You see the big crowd again here. Lots of happy and patriotic people. It's really great to see it here in Brantford. So, I mean, again, what this was is um, okay. So it's been great to be with you today. Okay, we have to move the camera. We'll we'll be right back. Stay with us. So everybody's going to say cheese now, and the group photo will be taken. Wreaths across America Day here in Brantford.
So right now, the wreaths that, that are in those cardboard boxes are going to be placed on all the veterans' graves here at St. Agnes Cemetery. And I believe that earlier Mark Halley said that some 1,600 wreaths are going to be placed here in Brantford on veterans' graves. So it's great to honor those that gave their lives for our country and for those that fought in all the many wars that we've had you know, in the past. So uh, it's been great to be with you today. I hope you've enjoyed our program. I'm Frank Tuhill for Henry Pond. Until next time, goodbye.